Welcome back for some quick final final thoughts tonight. Now, this won't take long, but it's important. Four United States Marines are now dead. Climate change didn't kill them. Lack of free community college didn't kill them. The income gap, wage inequality, nope, not those things either. Gay marriage, nope. Oh, white racism, not that either. So what did? President Obama, if you won't say it, I will. Radical Islam. This is not workplace violence. This is not a criminal act with motives unknown. This is terrorism. The suspected shooter, Mohammed Abdulaziz, a devout Muslim. Do I care that he seemed like an all-American young man? Do I care that he was good at mixed martial arts or a smart, quiet guy? Do I care that his high school friends wouldn't classify him as overly religious? No, I don't give a flying you-know-what about any of that. Was he linked to ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Hamas or any of the other 15-plus offshoot terrorist groups? Does it matter? I'm sorry, but radical Islam is becoming the rule, not the exception. Yesterday's moderate is today's terrorist. I care that this SOB killed four of our United States Marines, and I care that our commander-in-chief is more concerned with Muslim sensitivity than the honor and sacrifice made by these Marines. Now, this is the 21st time our military men and women have been attacked here at home. This is not a Middle East problem. This is an American problem, and I'm sorry, but I can't sit here and let this go. Not anymore. I come from a family of Marines. My grandpa was a World War II paratrooper. My uncle, a Vietnam Purple Heart recipient. My cousins, both Marine Corps officers. I have some very close Navy SEAL connections as well. In fact, someone very close to my heart is deployed to the Middle East right now. But the sad thing is, I was telling him last night, I think you're safer over there than you would be right here in the United States of America. I've had it with this failed strategy, this halfway, half-baked, tiptoe, be friendly to jihadis mentality pushed by this administration. Be a leader, someone. They, the radical Islamists, have brought the fight right here to the red, white, and blue, and it's about time we bring it to them, full force. Let's show them what the United States of America looks like up close and personal. Show them what a B-1 bomber looks like flying overhead. Show them what they're messing with. Put the fear of God in their desert, because clearly our lack of strategy isn't working. But with that, thanks for getting on point with me tonight. Let's talk on Twitter and Instagram at Tommy Laren. Use the hashtag AmericaOnPoint. Have a great weekend. God bless you, and God bless America. Take care.